ankle fractures. How do you fix these fractures? You start by fixing the fibula. The fibula is the key of ankle stability. When you fix it, you need to provide length and stability to the ankle joint. Except in two situations. The first situation is the spination adduction injury. You will do the medial side first. And the reason you do that because the fibula is short and fixation of this will not give you enough stability. You need to go after the joint injury first, which is the fracture of the medial malleolus. And you're going to fix that by anti-glide plate. You can call it buttress plate or by screws parallel to the joint. The second scenario where you fix the medial side first is when the fibular fracture is comminuted. So that will facilitate positioning of the talus within the mortis and will help to achieve an atomic reduction of the fibula. Then how do you fix the fibula? You fix the fibula by a regular lateral plate, but that can cause irritation of the soft tissues, and it may cause joint violation. The screw may be too long. I like to get the mortise view to be able to see these screws. Contrary to the medial malleolar screws, I like to get an AP view to see these screws are not violating the joint. Usually, this plate is a neutralization plate after you do lag screw for the fracture itself. The second method is the anti-glide technique, and that's the buttress plate posteriorly. So it is a posterior technique, that means if you go distal, you may irritate the perineal tendons or you may injure the superior perineal retinaculum, especially if you are distal because you put that plate posteriorly. This technique is biomechanically superior than the regular lateral plate technique. In the pronation extender rotation, you will do probably lag screw followed by neutralization plate. In the pronation abduction injury, you probably will do the classic operation. However, try to test the syndesmosis because that's very important. And if the fibular fracture is comminuted, then I will start by exposing, reducing, and fixed the medial side first. Fix the medial malleolus first and build on it. The plate applied with the pronation, abduction injury, if the fracture is commuted, will be a bridge plate. If it is spination external rotation, I will do reduction followed by lag screw for the fibular fracture and neutralization plate. This plate can be applied laterally or it can be applied posteriorly. When to do the surgery? What is the timing of surgery? Usually when the skin condition permits, when the skin wrinkles are present and the abrasions epithelialized and no bacteria on the site or on the surface. Wrinkle sign will be present when old interstitial edema has left the skin and the tissue. You need to do elevation. It may take two to three weeks to get the wrinkle sign. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.